Now, of course, we know you for lots of things and two very iconic things. One, Star Wars yeah. and another more recently, Game of Thrones as yeah. well. We start with Game of Thrones first. You had a very interesting role in that, yes. didn't you? Now, tell us a little bit about what it was like meeting Melisandre. <laughs> well, um, we, we had two all-night shoots on the beach with the flaming idols, um, one of which actually caught a light and burnt. Um, and that was, uh, that it was, it was very special, but actually very cold, I remember, God bless it. Wonderful dawn, I remember. And, and, and then I very foolishly killed myself. And um, I, I, I thought the, the only way of, of, uh, of getting rid of the priestess was uh, we would both drink poison, so I put the poison in. Anyway, uh, we both drank the poison and I died and she didn't. And in between takes, I said to her, I, I, I'm not quite up to speed on this. Why, why don't you die? And she said, I'm 400 years old. And I thought, oh, oh well, fair enough. You know, I thought that's a lesson learned. If you're trying to poison somebody, check that first that they're not 400 years old. Exactly. that good advice, definitely. I think that's very good advice, yes. And she's almost like, in a way, I think, I guess, a bit like a supernatural Lady Macbeth or something, yes. do you think? Yeah, yes, I do. I do. Actually, she's a very nice lady. She was, um, she was Dutch. We had some various uh, uh, mutual Dutch friends, so that was nice. Yeah, we, we got on well. Yeah. And what was it like working with Carice as well, and also with Stephen Delane you work with, don't you? You play Stannis Baratheon. Yes, yes, I did. Now, I'd never worked with Stephen Delane before, and I'm a great admirer of his, his acting. Um, and uh, the funny thing was, we, we, it, was, it was day one of the second series, and we, we drove out together at the shoot. And he, he said, I'm Stephen. And I said, I'm Oliver. And I didn't recognize him. And um, it took me about, we, we chatted away, not about uh, films or theater at all, about various things. And then after about half an hour, I suddenly thought, you're Stephen Delane. And I thought, it's a bit, it's a bit late now to say, oh, I like your work very much. <laughs> He's a very sort of unassuming guy, Stephen. Yeah. Yeah. And you also worked with Liam Cunningham, yes. didn't you? Who plays Davos in yeah. that? What's he like to work with? Uh, Liam, um, L Liam was also great. <laughs> and we bonded uh, actually over the RSC because he did a, a play at the RSC called The Herbal Bed um, about uh, Shakespeare's daughter which I'd seen and which he really enjoyed we had long conversations about that but when but on day one both he and Stephen said this could be the first day of five years and I thought wow have you signed on for five years what's that going to be like I'll tell you one funny thing about uh, Meister Cresson I was originally going to have a beard and then the makeup guy who funnily enough Paul was the same makeup person who did uh, Star Wars, my Star Wars. And he said, I can't give you a beard because when the blood all comes out of your nose, it'll stain the beard and we can't clean, we can clean a real beard, but we can't clean a false beard. So he had to very suddenly decide to give me sideboards because he said the blood won't get on the sideboards. <laughs> Did you know very much about Game of Thrones before you went in to play Maester Cresson? No. No, I mean, I'd heard of it, but I hadn't read the book, so I didn't know anything about it. And I found it very difficult to get up to speed. It's very complicated. Yes. Have you watched it since? Uh, you know, yes, I've been, I've been watching it uh, intermittently. I think it's great. And it, it's really had an extraordinary amount of success. It's interesting, you can't predict how these things will go. And the fact that sort of fantasy medieval can go all over the world. It's really remarkable, I think. Yeah. There's kind of aspects of Shakespeare and things in there as well, I think, don't you? Yes, yeah, yeah, you, there, there is. And of course, the, the themes, a bit like Star Wars, are all kind of epic, legendary themes. You know, George Lucas combed Greek legends to find out your basic stories, you know.